Hello guys, this is Mayank and I'm back with another video and today we are going to create our first Spark Streaming application. In this video, we'll be creating a very simple commonly available uh, word count application so that you'll be aware of the concepts of Spark Streaming and to make sure you have everything set up on your machine. So objective of this video is we'll send the text from the netcat window and Spark Streaming will receive it in real time. And after doing some transformation or counting word, it will return the word count uh, output to our console. So if you are on Linux uh, machine, right? So netcat must already be installed. Else if you are on Windows, you can refer the following website to download and install it. After installing it, you can go to uh, command window prompt and just run this command to check if that is properly installed or not. So if, you, if it is not properly installed, you will get that error. Okay, so now let's go to the PyCharm editor to start our code. We have already installed and set up PyCharm in our machine in last video. So if you have not seen it, I advise you, I advise you to check this video first. So I'll just go through the code once. It is a very simple code if you have uh, worked with Spark Data Frames API. So it will be similar like that. Spark Stream is also similar. There are some few different in concepts which I'll, I'll tell you in this video. So first you need to create the Spark session. So uh, what you have to do is like you need to create the Spark session and the app name, right? What you can give, you can give the number of course, what you're going to use. And this is the property which you can set to like uh, when you stop the Spark streaming application. So it will just shut down, right? So just to stop it gracefully so that it will write the intermediate result to checkpoint directory. I'll tell you what checkpoint directory is. And to uh, just stop the operations in a graceful manner, you can set this property. And there is another property spark.sql.shuffle.partitions. You can set it to four. We know that this is default value is 200, but because we are going to work very a small application, so I'll just set it to four so that it will uh, unnecessarily not waste, create the uh, partition and not waste it, right? So after that, we'll be reading from the stream, right? So read stream is equivalent to spark.read files, right? It is kind of a same thing, but we are because we are going to as a stream, right? So it is a uh, read stream API. So spark dot read stream then dot format is equal to socket so we're gonna use the netcat socket right so for that we have mentioned the format is equal to socket obviously that we need to mention the host and port and we need to load so it will create the data frame data underscore df right after that we want to uh, kind of delimit it right so we want to delimit it with the white spaces and just save it as a word i just give it as the alias as word right and uh, that is split underscore df now after that split df under split underscore df dot group by is equal to one dot count so it will just count the number of words after it got separated so after that we need to write it to somewhere so in this example because this is our first example we are just writing it to console later we'll write to files kafka and uh, some other aws also right so uh, this is i'm writing it to console that is format is equal to console output mode is equal to compute so, so there are three output modes in spark streaming update append and complete so here we are mentioning complete i'll tell you the difference in the next videos in upcoming videos but here we are using the complete you can just uh, make it as complete right and uh, option is equal to checkpoint so we need to mention the checkpoint directory so what is checkpoint is right so let's say you are just streaming one batch of uh, data in spark streaming and after that you want to store somewhere okay this is the this these number of the files we have already processed and when the next file comes i, I need to take it after this right so you want to checkpoint this location okay i'll start it from this maybe the job got interrupted or something so you want to start from the same place where it where we left it right where this job has left it so there you will need to mention this checkpoint location and checkpoint directory right and then you have to mention the dot start command just to initiate it and then we have to write the word count dot await termination so that is a something a new in spark streaming so this is something it tells right so it will keep on running in the loop right until you kill the job manually or there's some exception that this job got raised right uh, failed so that's why in in these two conditions only this job will stop right otherwise it will keep on running uh, unless uh, these two conditions happen okay so i will just start this job i'll start the uh, netcat message also so here I can send the messages and I start this job. So whatever message I will type it, it will just give me the uh, word count of those messages. Now you can see right, whatever I am just typing it is giving me uh, the count of those messages. Hello Spark Programming. 
okay so you can see all the number of because i have spark twice right so it is okay uh, one is case sensitive right spark and spark so now it is coming thrice the yeah you can see three number of messages so yeah so this way uh, whatever you will send from this net set netted uh, socket right so it will uh, this program will take it right receive it and just do whatever transformation you want to do it that is a very common example word count and accordingly it will display on the console so in the next upcoming videos we'll write it to files maybe json parquet we'll write to kafka topics we'll write to uh, we'll connect it with uh, azure also maybe cloud aws then we'll write over there as well so if you like the video please like and comment and uh, feel free to ask whatever uh, your question or doubt thank you i'll see you in the next video bye, -bye.